For Canadian artists, there's something really mystical about Algonquin Park. Just the name conjures up these images of Tom Thompson and the Group of Seven. When you're there painting, you can't help but feel you're part of this long history um, that's shared between Canadian artists and Algonquin Park that goes back well over 100 years. I recently had the opportunity to attend the park with over 20 artists of the East Central Ontario Art Association. We'd spend our days in the park painting on location and our evenings uh, back at the Mad Musher Motel, sipping scotch, uh, sharing stories, talking about our art, and uh, singing songs to the accompaniment of an acoustic guitar. It was a fabulous weekend. Uh, we had every kind of weather. And uh, actually, I think I produced some uh, pretty nice little paintings. I spent my time painting right where the Apiongo Road meets Highway 60. The video here shows me painting just north of Highway 60, facing east from the Apiongo Road. This morning it started at very cold, around minus 4, minus 5. I've already removed two layers of clothing here in the video and by the end of the painting it was down to a long sleeve t-shirt. Despite the cold weather and the fact that it was March, there was still one pesky black fly who managed to land on one of the paintings and uh, get stuck in the paint. This was my final painting of the weekend and I wanted to break it down into just simple elements, a lone pine tree cutting across the horizon, deep blue sky and the light hitting the tree. I think this shows that sometimes a simple composition can be just as dramatic as the more complex involved ones. I was very happy with this piece. In this piece I wanted to capture that feeling of early morning light. The sun is just peeking above the distant hills but still leaving the uh, foreground rocks and trees in shadow. This was my very first painting of the weekend and for this I decided to stick with a pretty traditional handling of what is a pretty typical Algonquin scene. Sometimes everything just comes together. You've got sun shining through the trees, sparkling off the water. You just gotta know I'm gonna be all over that. Sunday morning was April Fools. Uh, we woke to find Mother Nature did indeed have a sense of humor. There was a full-blown blizzard going on as we walked to breakfast. Everyone decided uh, there was no way to paint and we'd just head on home. A somewhat gloomy ride was uh, enhanced by the sight of a mother moose and her calf. I couldn't help but think, gee, it's good to be an artist as I reflected on my weekend and made my way.